Well, good afternoon, everybody, and a very, very warm, warm welcome to you all to this lovely place here at Hollywell Hall to witness the marriage of Jamie and Megan. I think most of you know who I am, but for those that don't, I'm uh, Jamie's father, Barry. Well, I haven't suddenly become ordained, uh, but Megan and Jamie approached me a few months ago um, and we talked about the idea of wanting to make their ceremony more personal to them, a ceremony more along humanist lines rather than the more traditional religious approach. I can't think of anything more special than marrying your son to the love of his life. They wanted to choose for themselves the form of words and the declarations they make to each other to make it a more personal and memorable occasion for themselves and for everyone else. I spent a little time chatting to Jamie and Megan about marriage and what it means to them. They believe that marriage is essentially a human institution. Therefore, this ceremony finds its deepest meaning, not from religion, but from the celebration of being human. Today, the vows you've written represent your intention to love and support each other as you celebrate and look forward to your lives together. In an infinite universe that has an infinite number of stars, it's frightening to stop and think about how big it is and how small and insignif insignificant we are on Earth. But right now, in this very moment, I feel bigger than the universe because I don't need an infinite number of stars. I just need one. And she's standing right in front of me. Megan, I can stand here and make a hundred promises to you, but I know, no matter how hard I try, I'll probably break one. So I hope you don't see this as me dodging the way out of vows and promises, but I want to make this very simple. After all, marrying you is the simplest and easiest thing I could do. My heart will only ever beat for you so I promise to love you, fight for you, and grow old with you. Until my heart stops beating, and even then, I'll still find a way to love you. Jamie, in this modern world of endless opportunities, distractions, and the likelihood of us living beyond 80, some may think a lifetime with one person is no longer realistic. But for me, a lifetime with you simply isn't going to be long enough. Today, I'm marrying my biggest crush, and I stand here with the same butterflies in my tummy as I did when I first met you eight years ago. We have no idea what lies ahead or what may come our way, but one thing is for sure. I promise to stand with you side by side as we stumble through this wonderful adventure called life. I promise to not just grow old together, but to grow together when time changes us both. And when the day comes where we're grey and old, I promise to always see you with the same eyes and the same heart that I see you with at this exact moment. I promise to be your unrelenting cheerleader on the days it feels too much. I promise to not be mad when the Amazon delivery arrives at our house each week with yet another technical object we don't need because in you, I have found my everything. In you, I have been given the rarest of gifts because no one has a heart as pure and innocent as yours. So my final promise is to you, Barry and Devi. I promise to look after this rare gift with all my heart for the rest of my life. And so ladies and gentlemen, to the exchange of rings, a tradition that dates back more than 6,000 years. At that time, the ancient Egyptians thought that there was a special vein that runs from that finger all the way down to the heart. It's also customary, of course, to give rings made of precious metals, 
something that signifies strength and permanence. The circular nature of it represents endless love and eternal life. I will love you forever, whatever happens, till I die and after I die. And when I find my way out of the land of the dead, I'll drift about forever, all my atoms, till I find you again. I'll be looking for you every moment, every single moment. And when we do find each other again, we'll cling together so tight that nothing and no one will ever tear us apart. Every atom of me and every atom of you. We'll live in birds and flowers and dragonflies and pine trees and in clouds and in those little specks of light you see floating in sunbeams. And when they use our atoms to make new lives, they won't be able to take one, they'll have to take two. One of me and one of you. Megan, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. I promise with all my heart to endeavour to bring you happiness and laughter. Look at me. <laughs> to cherish and comfort you as long as we both shall live. Als de liefde niet bestond, zou de maan niet langer lichten. Geen dichter zou mee dichten als de liefde niet bestond. Nergens zouden bloemen staan. De aarde zou verkleuren. Overal gesloten deuren. En de klok zou niet meer slaan. Als de liefde niet bestond, dan was de hele vrijerij bedorven. De wereld gauw uitgestorven. Als de liefde niet bestond. Als de liefde niet bestond, zou de zon niet langer stralen. De wind niet meer ademhalen. Als de liefde niet bestond. Geen appel zou meer rijpen, zoals eens in het paradijs, als wij elkaar niet meer begrijpen. De wereld is koud als ijs. Ik zou sterven van de kou. Mijn adem zou bevriezen. Als ik jouw liefde zou verliezen. verliezen. Ik leef, ik, geen, er is geen liefde zonder jou. Megan, you have to work hard at being wed. It's not just about what you do in bed. <coughs> You have to compromise in this life, from wife to husband, and husband to wife. Jamie isn't perfect. Sometimes he'll moan. He'll cherish you less than he does his new drone. <laughs> he won't do the dishes or pick up his smalls. He'll burp and trump and scratch at his balls. <laughs> He'll seldom give you flowers or take you out. Remember anniversaries, what's that all about? But don't shout, give him a break. Just go with the flow, you must give and take. Cause you're no saint uh, either. <coughs> Just remember that. You won't change the wheel when the tire's flat. I've just done my nails, he'll hear you sigh. And then you'll render him speechless with a little cry. <laughs> and Megan, when you argue, fight and scrap, just remember why you married your lovely chap. Your knees still go weak when he cracks a smile. He's your Mr. Perfect, wins hands down by a mile. So remember to always have a laugh together to face challenges head on, whatever the weather. Talk and talk and talk some more. Make home your sanctuary behind that front door. For 50 long years I was wed. I won't change a thing, it has to be said. There'll be pain and heartache, dark, dark moments and all, but get through it together 
make sure you have a ball. All the best to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, with the readings done, the vows are done, the rings are done, so really there's only one thing left to do. And Jamie, this is probably going to be your favourite part of the ceremony. You may now kiss the bride. So can I get three cheers for the happy couple? Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Thank you. I, Jamie Ari Colvin. Take you, Megan Amber Cooper. Take you, Megan Amber Cooper. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Megan Amber Cooper. Take you, Jamie Ari Colvin. Take you, Jamie Ari Colvin. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.